YouTube, this is not a misfortune, bringing you yet another tutorial on how to install a mod. This time, it's going to be for the Sins of a Solar Empire game, a playthrough that I'm going to be doing here on my channel fairly shortly, so make sure to che check that out if you do want to see that. Um, so this will be over how to install the Star Wars Interregnum mod. Uh, and make it work. Simple to follow directions, hopefully. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have an unzipping uh, tool installed on your system. So what I use is 7-zip. You can also use you know, WinRAR or any other unzipping file um, system. Just make sure when you're downloading it, you're uh, installing the correct um, version for your Windows system. <clears throat> so uh, just click on the download link, then you're going to click on executable and install it like any other program. Then you want to navigate to the Interregnum mod, and here you'll find a lot of files. Um, down below here, there will be a lot of files you can install. You have a map uh, tool that you can uh, install from here if you want to make your own maps. Um, however, we're just going to be doing the mods here. So you're going to click on this button at the top of the page that says download now. Then you're going to go ahead and download that. And then um, it should begin to um, install in your system. So this will take a, a second depending on how quickly your, your internet is. For me, it should be around 40 seconds. So I'll be right back in just a moment. So once that is done, you want to uh, navigate to your downloads folder or whatever you've uh, downloaded the file. You want to go ahead and right click on that. Go ahead and cut that file out. And then you want to navigate to your mod folder. Now that's, this, can, this part can be the most trickiest part because it isn't in an intuitive spot. Uh, at least it wasn't to me. So to find this, you can either go to system you can go to users and then go click on your username. But I think the easiest way is to just go through the documents uh, tab here. But I'll just show you how to do it. So system, users, your username. Then you're going to find the documents from here, which basically links to this file anyway. So you're going to click on documents. Then you are going to go to um, my games, ironclad games, and then sins of a solar empire. Uh, again, the path I'll probably post down in the description so you can follow that uh, if that was a little too quick. But then you're going to find the mods folder and you're going to right click uh, paste that file that you've cut. And then finally, as always, you're going to want to um, unzip this. So extract here. Uh, yes. You want to click on yes on here and this can take a bit depending on your computer uh, again how quickly it can work its magic um, but uh, for me it's fairly quickly even though this is a fairly big file size so as you can see it took only a minute uh, less than a minute actually and then uh, so now you're ready to basically launch the game you can delete the zip file so because you don't need it anymore you've extracted its contents right here the final thing is, of course, to go ahead and launch your game. Now, um, hopefully it will work from the start um, because they did have you install that, um, that modified text file essentially as part of that package that enabled mods note uh, file. So that should already enable it. Um, however, if it doesn't, what you can do is you can go to options, you can go to mods, and then you can uh, find them here. So this is how you also um, disable and enable mods. So you can basically, uh, you can click on the ones here and then disable them, or you can click here and enable the mods. So mine are already enabled, so that's why you don't see the enable mod button here. So that's all you really need to do. And then you can have access to all these great uh, things. So we have our empire stuff, but to see some more of this, you'll have to check out my Let's Play video. So hopefully this has helped you install the Star Wars Interregnum um, mod on your system. If it hasn't, uh, please do let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out and uh, hopefully you
so that hopefully you can enjoy this game as well. Thank you very much again for checking out my channel. Uh, if you liked my video, please make sure to subscribe because it does help me out and motivates me to bring more content like this. Subscribe, comment, and uh, follow me on the different things, links to which you will follow, find down below. Thanks again, YouTube, and have a wonderful day.